Today I'll be cleaning my glass palettes and I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do that. First you'll need a glass scraper, some kind of rag or fabric, some napkins or paper towels, Gamzol or any odorless mineral spirits or nail polish remover and this is actually what I prefer. And also a palette knife would be helpful. First I get another empty glass palette or glass from a picture frame and this is what I use to hold all my excess paint that's still workable. So I really don't like muddying up my colors so in between colors I do wipe off the different colors. I've sped up this part but I'm just removing all the excess workable oil paint from my palettes and I'll be doing that throughout the rest of the video too when it's feasible. Some of the paints are too dry or mixed with a medium and it's not really conducive to saving. Because I use this liquid medium and liquid's not something that I would reuse either because it it kind of gets like hard like some of it's usable but I just personally wouldn't reuse liquid just because of how it acts but so the next step is I take this glass scraper you can get this from the Dollar Tree it has five five blades included so it's the same exact one I have I just and I've used this for years and you can see there's paint crusties all on it and it's totally workable. You just have to change out the blade every now and then. The next step is just using this to get the excess paint off of it. Now you can actually do this even when the oil paint is still wet. And I've sped up this scraping process but it really only took about like a minute to do. It's pretty fast especially when the paint's still wet. First pass, I would use something like a gross rag like this. And you can either use Gamzol or odorless or any kind of odorless mineral spirits. I actually like to use nail polish remover because it's really cheap. Unlike odorless mineral spirits, nail polish remover is really accessible and cheap and you can get it without an ID. Now I'm just repeating the process on another glass palette where I scrape off the first thicker layer of oil paints and you can actually see that I'm saving some of the scrapies. Okay, so that's my first pass on this. Um, it doesn't seem very clean, but that's because it's dry, pretty dry, so it's kind of harder to scrape off. So instead of just like working all the elbow grease on this, what I like to do is I'll do a first pass with my gross rag. I had mentioned that on the first palette but it actually got really clean very quickly so I didn't end up doing a second pass but so I just take this and get some nail polish remover and just give it like a little bit of a wipe all over and it might not look like it's doing too much but it is it does kind of break down that top layer and it makes it a lot easier to work with. I can tell a lot of colors coming off. I'm going to do a little bit more nail polish remover because this is a pretty, pretty gnarly one, but it really might not look like it's doing much, but with your second pass of the glass scraper, it's going to be a lot easier. And now, I'd say this is pretty good. So, you do your second pass instead without, not the dirty rag, but with like these little napkins or paper towels or whatever you wanna use because the rag is very helpful, but because it does have all the other colors on it, even though you're cleaning it, you're kind of rubbing your other colors into it. So for the next, two palettes I pretty much repeat the same process and 
in this clip here, you can see me salvaging some of this dried paint and I'm putting it into my little jar. That's just something some artists do. The artist on YouTube, Lena Danya, she's the one who I had first ever seen do that. And I asked in a comment and she was like, it just kind of reminds not to be wasteful. And I thought that was pretty cool. So that's something I do, but it's definitely super optional and it really doesn't matter at the end of the day, but I do like to keep my little scrapies. So you can see here, I'm repeating that process of going in with a glass scraper to get the excess oil paint off before I wipe it down with a rag. And then after I wipe it down with the rag, just to get the top layer off, not too clean, I go back again with the glass scraper. And then one more time with the nail polish remover and a napkin. It's it's pretty easy and it once you're used to it, it really takes like five minutes for you to clean your palettes. And the reason why I have so many palettes dirty at one time is because I work on a lot of projects at once and it's just really easy for me to have multiple palettes of paint on for the specific projects that I'm working on at one time. So now that this, I am done using this, since it is a blade, it is kind of, you want to take precautions, so I definitely use like a rag to clean it rather than like a little napkin. And then just retract it when you're done. So this is all the paint that I salvaged from those palettes. And this is my scrapey jar. It's like not super cool. It's just, I don't know. You don't, you definitely don't have to do it. It's just kind of interesting. I've already filled one up. And it's not that cool looking, honestly, but let me take the ring off. I think it looks cooler without the ring. But yeah, it's not that cool looking, but it's something I did. And if you don't know what to do with your old paints, you can do this. And part of the reason why I did this too, I haven't done it yet. And I think it would actually be very hard to get out of the jar. But a lot of people say you can use these old scrapies and then you can glue them or adhere them to your canvases and have a textured effect, which is definitely something I want to try, which is why when I pick up my scrapies, I try to do like thicker pieced ones rather than little thin scrapies because the texture thing. But anyway, that's completely optional. It's just a, a fun thing to do. I don't think I showed it very well. I got this from the Dollar Tree because I thought it was cute. It's like a little trash can. This is what I use to put all of my little newspapers and scrapies while I'm in my painting process. So I don't have to reach for a trash can. It's just right here. Put it off to the side. And, I just go. and so yeah, I really like it. I think it's kind of cute. It's a cute way for you to store your trash in the middle of your painting process. So. Comment below if you have any questions, suggestions, or recommendations, and hope to see you in the next one. Have a good day.